there is new wine for the new season. Mark chapter 2 verse 22. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskin, and the wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. The Lord Jesus in this whole passage here in Mark chapter 2 is talking about a transition in God's dealings with man. He's talking about uh, when the Jesus is physically present and the time when he would depart and he would no longer be physically present, which would then, of course, usher in uh, the New Testament or the New Covenant season uh, for man, when he would be absent. And he, in, in, in the light of all of that, he's talking about new wine being released into new wineskins. The point I want to bear upon our hearts here is this, that as God brings upon a new season uh, uh, over our lives, He also releases new wine. And talk about new wine, we're talking about God releasing a new thing into our lives. His working comes in a fresh way. There are new things that God is releasing, new dynamics that God is bringing in in this new season. You will begin to see God do things you've never seen Him do before, or perhaps you only heard about, but never has happened in your life personally. God begins to bring those kinds of things in your life. You begin to see God speaking to you in fresh ways. You begin to see God giving you new revelation, uh, a new insight into who He is and in the ways of His workings. Uh, you begin to see God take your level of understanding of, of who He is uh, to a greater dimensions, and you begin to understand things you never understood about God before. So there is, all of this is represented by the new wine, meaning God working in you, through you, for you, um, uh, in, in, in a new way, in, in ways He has not done before. Remember, for there is new wine for every new season. So be open to this. Don't lock yourself out of the new things God wants to bring into your life. Don't say, well, that's the only way he's done it before and he's going to do the same thing again in this new season. There's new wine for the new season. Be open to the things God wants to bring into your life this season. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for new wine being poured into our lives in this new season. Help us, Lord, just to be open to the new things you want to release into our lives. Help us to receive it even if these things are unfamiliar and it comes from you, we know it's good. Help us receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.